Hello, my sparrows. So it's Akeisha, and I'm here to give you guys a little bit of an update because I drifted away for a while because there was there has been so many things going on. So first, I should apologize for my absence. I haven't been. I think the last time I did um, a video was somewhere in the spring, and as the summer fall and COVID gets wilder, I kind of stepped away from YouTube, but there's reason behind it. So during the summer, we had a little bit of blast, a little bit of blast, a little bit. And even though I was having a little bit of blast, I was a little bit depressed. And why I was depressed, um, I should say that it was because of, you know, if you guys been following me, or if you have not watched my videos, um, I have lost my job like a month before COVID and I've been looking for a job. I was so confident that I will find something, something's gonna work out, something is gonna... I was so confident, I have faith in God that something is gonna work out somehow for me. And so after COVID, I decide like when, not, I wouldn't say after COVID because we're still in it. But um, after everything started open back up, I started again sending out resumes and been sending out resumes. Get about two calls right after and I went in for those interviews. Yes, I did went in for those interviews. The first one that I went into, so I'm just giving you an update on my job search. So the first one I went into, um, I had to wear a mask and you know, it's we're not used to that. So I, I actually went into that one and I wore my mask. Um, so when this person called me for an interview, we spoke a little bit over the phone and I basically was taking control of the phone call because he wasn't really asking any questions. He was a little bit more quiet and um, come to find out, he said, oh, I was trying to figure out where your accent is from. Hmm. Like, to me, that shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter what's on my resume. It shouldn't matter what's on what what my accent is. It should matter what my resume is. And if I believe that I speak clear English, I do have an accent, but I speak clear English that you can understand. Anyone can understand how I speak. And so he was wondering what, where my background was from. So I told him I'm Jamaican. I don't know if it matters, but um, anyways, he said that he will call me back and let me know if I move on to the second round for the interview. That same evening, I received a call back and they moved me on to the second round. But when I got there, uh, there was a lady that was there that was interviewing also and she, I would had to wait until her interview was completed or most of her interview was completed So when I got there and they started interviewing me um, I remember they said that the owner of the company was just finished up, finishing up interviewing the other person and Let me tell you I put myself proper I get dressed proper because this is an office position. So I got myself dressed properly and I went and I spoke eloquently and because I know that I can do the job. And while I was there, I saw the person that they were interviewing and she was dressed in like jeans and a t-shirt, but I don't know, I guess that's what they're used to. And anyways, they told me that. So they were like, oh, um, the, bo the boss is walking around showing this person um, around that we just interviewed. So um, we'll just, your interview until he gets here. So they started until he got there. But when he got there, he didn't really have any question to ask. He didn't show, they were, I could feel that there was no interest in, interest in me. And they basically say at the end of it, okay, we'll give you a call and let you know. Um, if you if you get the position by seeing what I what I saw that them walking around showing that person introducing that person to other colleagues and stuff that they will be work potentially be working with I kind of knew I wasn't gonna get the job because they didn't do that with me probably I don't know we'll get there so that was the first one the second one the second interview that I went 
uh i can't remember it but i went to a second interview i think i got a call a zoom one and it was awkward for me i've never done it before so it was very awkward and it was on the phone and i was wondering is the phone gonna shut off is the phone gonna die and it was so awkward i was not used to it i was thinking all kind of stuff and i know that i didn't do well in that interview and i end up didn't get the job and then since then i've been like sending out resumes sending out resume like honestly guys i sent out about over a thousand i probably already at a thousand two hundred or so right now i literally sent out over a thousand resume i got calls from i no did i i got a few calls no actually i got two calls i got two call back one of them i didn't quite understand the description of the job but they gave me a call we did an interview um i think i did well in the interview for what i know and how i spoke but i believe she didn't find me fit for that position and i totally understand because it has to do with animals and i don't have any animals i don't have any pets or anything so i'm a little bit lost for that um so i like that one i understand the other one guys like honestly this one i never applied for i didn't apply for it and i got a call i got an email i, I got an email in regards to that um you'll fit perfectly for this position it has not been um, posted yet i just needed to speak to you to find out um if you're interested in the position so we agree to make an appointment to speak over the phone briefly and we spoke over the phone and i show interest and i believe i did my best in that interview and it's a job that I know what to do because it's what I just came from but it has less responsibility which is totally fine with me and it was from it was a work from home that one I put all my eggs in the basket believing that I was gonna get it because it has never it was never posted as she said and um, she just wanted to make sure um, and she believed that I fit that position and she just wanted to make sure that I'm okay with working that position and I was really ready because I'm ready to go back into the workforce because guys the bills are piling up the bills are piling up and I'm just being truthful I'm not the youtuber that pretend as if everything is great and I'm rich and I have money and I can do all of this no so the bills are piling up and I need need, need a job like right now ASAP and she let me know that you know what I will be getting in touch with you next week and um i will be emailing you on the same thread that i emailed you in regards to this position i'm like okay yeah i'm gonna get this job i feel great i feel like i'm gonna get it and she said early next week so to me early next next week is monday or tuesday so monday no email tuesday no email wednesday i noticed there's a post i got this um thing that came into my email and i noticed there's a post for the same position that she um she called me and she was talking to me in regards to and um so i emailed her i'm like okay i noticed that i seen a post the job wasn't posted you said i was fit for the position just wanted to know if i said something wrong or if there's anything that i need to improve on can you please advise and I did not receive any um, email back from her until the Friday to say, unfortunately, and you know what comes after that, we found someone else. I'm like, I didn't apply for your job. You contacted me and said, I was, you believe that I fit the position and you wanted to know if I was interested. And I told you, yes. And you're now going to tell me that unfortunately we find someone else for the position so it's been a wreck for me it's it's been so stressful it's so depressing and i feel like people around me know that knows that i'm not working is thinking either that i am lazy i don't want to work or they're thinking because i am getting unemployment and you know um in canada they give give us CERB which I am not getting because I got laid off before the COVID thing. CERB is like a stimulus check 
So a lot of people are thinking, oh, people are taking that check and they don't want to go back to work. And I know people are out there that thinking that about me, they're not asking me if I'm getting unemployment, but I know they are thinking that I'm taking this money, I'm sitting in, sitting at home on it and I'm, I'm not looking for any job. So it's been like almost eight months now since I haven't been working and it's really, really tough. My parents knows 